Developing out of St. Petersburg, right now the search is on for a man caught on camera using a flamethrower to torch an African flag. You're seeing some of that video right here. You can see that flamethrower right there over in the corner and that being the African flag. This happened this weekend at the Yahuru House. 10 Tampa Bay's Megan Myers spoke with members there today as they say they were targeted for their beliefs. The African People's Socialist Party says that a nearby neighbor who witnessed the incident tried to stop the man from fleeing this parking lot. Our connection to this community was clear on Saturday when someone tried to prevent the arsonist from escaping the parking lot. Akile NIE says this building has been a long-standing community center for the organization to hold meetings and events. She says the basis of this weekend's attack is clear. This was a targeted, ideologically informed attack. The surveillance video shows a man pulling up in a white car, sitting inside for a few minutes, and then getting out a large flamethrower from his trunk. Jamie Simpson says it was an attempt to intimidate the African community. No one can stop the African working class from organizing in their own interests to free themselves. Leaders of the organization want this to be looked at as an arson case. But St. Pete police say it's being considered criminal mischief because of the low monetary value of the damage. The group says they're confident they'll be able to track down the person responsible. Clearly it was politically motivated, a very ideological kind of attack. If you have any information about this incident, you are asked to contact police. I'm reporting in St. Pete, Megan Myers, 10 Tampa Bay. Thank you, Megan. And we did ask St. Pete, Poli Pete Police if they're looking at this as a possible hate crime. They say to be a hate crime, there has to be a reference to race, religion, sexuality, and there was none of that. They add that this is the early stage of the investigation, and it is possible that a hate crime charge could be added later if deemed necessary.